So the, the guy behind me, beside me, I heard him say, put your hand on the seat. Big, put your hand on the seat. So when he said that, I turn around and I look for him. Like, what you say? What you really say? So he, he said it again, and this time, he said, louder. And he said, he said, put your hand on the seat. He said, put my hand on the seat for what? And then that was when the one in the front, he turned around and pushed back the seat. And the guy beside me dropped on the seat. are dead, you know? Now this episode is about a young man who thought he was going to be murdered and his body thrown in bushes by armed thugs but was given a chance to live. But if he had known what the justice system had in store for him, he would have been twice before going to the police. Meet Mr. Irvin. My name is Kevin Irvin. Um, I am 33 years old. I'm from St. Catherine, Linstead. I'm a very hardworking individual. I'm a very sociable person. I love to socialize. I grew up in Linstead, um, in the town of Linstead. I attended the Linstead Primary School. I further moved to Kingston, where I attended Kingsway Prep and then further at Russell Primary. I made sure to ask Mr. Irvin if he had ever been in any trouble with the law before his unfortunate ordeal. Never, never, never. If I should choose one word out of all words to describe Kevin, I would say he is lovely. So Mr. Irvin seemed very laid back and a humble individual at the tone of his voice. But what had happened to him was very vile, unfortunate, and I assume a lack of proper investigation carried out by our law enforcement agencies. And not only that, but the very justice system that was set in place to protect the innocent did the complete opposite. This is his story. It was the 7th of April 2007. Um, it was a Saturday. I worked at True Juice on one of the farms. I was a trainee contractor responsible for writing the payroll and supervising persons on the farm. It was a new work farm. 